I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be taking a detailed look at the Moment Crossbody Wallet, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. Let's dive in. So this wallet here actually comes in a couple of different styles and colorways, so I can bring those out over right now. We have a a, a brown leather, and then this is the black leather. These are um, Horween leather, and then this is a ripstop nylon. So it kind of depends on the look that you're going for. These two leather ones are obviously like a little bit more classic, a little bit more like formal, I guess you could say. And then um, the ripstop one is more of like a unique look. It has some of those accents. Um, the one that I was testing is this leather one, so I'm gonna be focusing on this. Um, but there are a couple of differences between them so I can kind of reference those. So I'm gonna just kind of put these off to the side for right now. So looking at this here, it is just a very sleek and subtle look. We have a little bit of like a uh, debossed moment there. So it is very, very subtle on the front. And then on the back, there is their little uh, hashtag there. So it, it is very subtle. There's not a ton really going on on this thing, which kind of just uh, like, emphasizes that sort of more like like formally kind of look to it a little bit classier and then on the straps here you have two different strap options so this one here is just a like rope wristlet strap so you would just kind of make it pull up my sleeve a little bit you just kind of hold it like that very much so just like a little wristlet and then if you want to change that up there is this little clip buckle here and then there's these circle buckle or these like D-rings rather on each side and you can attach the, um, the actual shoulder strap. So this is made out of that same rope material as the wristless, wristlet strap and this attaches on either side. Just very simple, very easy and it fully you know rotates so you have a little bit of movement there as needed and then the rope adjustment is up at the top. So, you know, you kind of extend it as you need to, or you can pull it a little bit tighter if you want it to sit oops, a little bit higher on your body. So you can kind of have a little bit of variety if you want to wear it like closer to your chest or if you want to extend it and wear it a little bit lower, totally up to you. Um, the one thing that I will note though is that because these D-rings are in the center here, it's comfortable for a wrist carry because it is so central, but I found that this would like flip upside down a few times if I was wearing it and it was too heavy. So if I just, you know, kind of had it on my side, it would be like this and then I would look down and it would be suddenly like this and that's just because it's in the center so you do have just like it's it's very easy for it to just kind of like flip up and down um it wasn't anything too crazy i mean you do have these zippered pockets and then this pocket is sideways in the first place so in general it's not like anything fell out um just something that i noticed and and just kind of had on my radar i would say this back slip pocket i have a iphone 13 in here it's really best for that if it's a passport as well if you want to but I would kind of stick to a phone just because it does flip and then your you know, passport would be exposed. It's a nice and tight pocket though. And it does look uh, pretty sleek on the back there. So just something to note with uh, the actual wear there. So I'm gonna take this off just so that it's a little bit cleaner and easier to work with when I'm walking you through the pockets. So it's just two openings. We have this front main pocket, this front pocket and the main pocket. And then as I mentioned, the slip pocket. Um, these zippers here are unbranded. The one thing I want to note is kind of the difference between the ripstop one and the leather one here is that the ripstop one is a reverse coil. So, you know, you can't see any of the teeth here, both on, on both zippers there. And then with this one, you can. And while, you know, they kind of seem like they are the same zipper, but this one is a little bit stickier to zip and unzip just sort of in, in general. And then this one is, it has a little bit more resistance to it, but it's overall just like very slightly smoother. So I didn't really have any issues like getting in and out of this leather one here, but I did notice this front pocket did like, you can see it kind of just sticks right along that center there. So there were a few times where I kind of had to fuss with it a little bit. And this one here is, you know, much smoother, even though it is the same design. So just kind of something worth noting. Um, this brown leather one is, 
you know, the same kind of design as the black leather. So that has you know, a very similar issue. So going into this main front pocket, we just have a little separation here. I think this is mostly what that zipper gets caught on, that little divider. Um, this front pocket's great for just like quick dump items. Like if you have anything that's, um, you know, like any lenses or anything you wanna add to your camera, this is a really great spot for that. Or just, you know, a pair of headphones. I've put chapstick in here before. It's kind of just like, sort of like a little dump pocket, or you can take it out and then keep a little bit more of a sleek look. It's definitely a, a sort of like preference thing. So I'll put my headphones back in there. And then on the inside of here and on the inside of the main pocket is a little bit of a microfiber lining. So this is uh, on the softer side to keep any sort of camera gear or, or tech or something like that a little bit on the safer side, just because it is so small, you do have a little bit of like fuzzy protection, I guess you could say. And then on this main compartment here, those same line, that same microfiber liner, and then um, this whole thing is, is only, um, it's like 0.2 pounds, which is 91 grams. And it is super, super lightweight. So it is very much so like a, a, a good clutch to just wear, um, you know, kind of for everyday use. Or if you wanna look a little bit on the fancier side, but still carry all of your gear or a handful of your everyday carry items. And this is really great for that. So this main pocket, I have a, you know, fake little passport there um, and then chapstick, lipstick, and then, you know, makeup, like something if I wanted to kind of like touch up my face on the go. Um, that's the kind of stuff that I have in there right now. But I was able to store, like if I didn't want to stick my phone in this back compartment, then I could stick it in the main one. The main thing that I came across is that if I had chunkier items like this makeup there, that concealer, that I would, um, it got a little bit hard to kind of stuff it out. So you can see that my phone fits really nicely in here as is. But then if I, you know, try and add that in there, it takes a little bit of like wiggling around to find the right spot. Like I think it was, I think I had it like there at one point. Yeah, and it zips up fine. It's like a little bit lopsided just because of how, you know, it kind of looks and how everything's packed a little more on this side. Um, if that's not a huge deal to you, then that's totally fine. But I would say for the most part, my phone really had a a nice home in this back pocket here, unless I had nothing in this main compartment. So kind of rounded items. And then on the back here, we have three little liner pockets, one of which has just a you know $20 bill in, nice quick and easy cash if you need it in a pinch. And then this center one here is great for cards. So I just kept my you know basic essentials there. And then, you know, if you wanted to keep a, you know, say a transit card in the front then that's an easy spot to put that. So you can keep like transit cards here, you know, your ID here, a credit card, debit card, whatever you want. And you do have a, a few different options. The, the like pockets and things like that are pretty versatile across, across the board for it. So overall, you know, it's a pretty, pretty sleek look. A few, a few issues with the zipper just kind of getting it open, but in the scheme of things, it's really not a huge deal. I didn't have any issues with it coming off the track or anything like that within my you know two weeks of testing. Um, and so having an option that's very low profile, just nice to keep on hand. Um, both of these straps store really nicely on the inside when it's not in use. So you know if you wanted to bring this along, it doesn't really take up a ton of space in your bag, and it's great if you decide to go to some some form of a, uh, form of event that's a little bit more formal. So there you have it, the Moment Crossbody Wallet. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.